are some of these modern day progressivist liberals just being wacky, radical, extremist, freak show, hippie liberals just for the sheer sake of being a weirdo? You know, like weirdness on top of weirdness just to kind of irritate and annoy people like me? I wouldn't necessarily put it past them, but someone ought to tell them that it's been done before. That's right, way back in the 1990s. And um, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I actually have my own little trans story that happened to me the, the other day, you know, here in the year 2023, the year of the trans. But before we get to that, uh, let me just quickly say that I usually don't do political videos. Um, I did one about two years ago, and the purpose of that video it was entitled Why We Shouldn't Let Politics Divide Us So Much, is to try and bring Americans back into the middle. I don't understand why uh, you can't see the viewpoint of the other side like I can. And, you know, I used to be liberal when, when I was younger, and then I kind of went more conservative. Now I'm just kind of uh, middle right, you might say. But... Um, I did complain in the video a little bit about the trans swimmers um, in the, uh, the female sports. And to me, that just seemed a little bit unfair. I don't know what the solution is, but um, the purpose, you know, this happens like the affirmative action. where You're trying to do something to make things more fair, but really you're, you're doing the opposite of that. So I, I don't know what the solution is, but I'm glad to report that here we are two years later and the general public is beginning to come back into the middle on that one. And, and you know, that's different than like Amy Schneider here, who was on the Jeopardy for 39 days straight. That's where, you know, it's not like a physical activity, but a lot of this stuff is physical stuff. Like uh, in Canada, I guess all you have to do is announce that you feel as though you're a woman inside and you can enter like the weightlifting tournaments and stuff. So apparently that's what happened. Some guy did that um, we're under Justin Trudeau, Trudeau's um, reign up there. And um, I, don't, I don't know what the solution is to this stuff. But to me, it just seems unfair to the, uh, to the female born athletes. So... I'm glad to see that people are pushing back on that. I guess uh, I guess they also just erased the uh, affirmative action too, which which is, I'm glad to see there. Look at this guy. He bump, bumps his head, forgets to salute our military. Oof! And, you know, you start getting too liberal in these policies and just going nuts here. You're stepping where you don't know where you're stepping, you know? So this stuff can get to be dangerous, it's not reflective of the strength of this country, I, I don't think. And so uh, I think we better come back to the middle. And uh, anyways, back to my trans story. So I'm on the patio of this hot dog and Chicago style hot dog and hamburger place called Mustard's Last Stand, which sits right across from the University of Denver, which, if anything, used to be a very conservative school. But just like all schools these days, after the affirmative action, it looks more like a community college. So I'm out there eating these expensive hamburger and fries, and I see in the distance what looks like kind of a chunky, unattractive woman coming towards me, coming towards the patio area where I was at. And I thought to myself, man, these some of these students these days are just ugly. As, as, as this person gets closer, you start seeing these hairy legs. And I thought to myself, man, these female liberals these days. And then once she got really got close, you realize this person was is a trans person, where it's like born a man. And apparently this he was doing, what, I'm, what are they trying to do? Start a new style where you're like half, you look half man, half woman. I mean, I felt sorry for the other students that she ended up sitting with because, to me, that's kind of gross. I might have even said something like, hey, if you're going to try and look female, dude, go female all the way. But, I mean, I understand we're in the year of jazz. We're in the year of 2023, the year of trans. So, I understand. You know, I understand that these things can happen. Look at this guy here. Um the son of the 
great basketball star, Magic Johnson, one of the most masculine men. He's rumored to have uh, had, you know, slept with over 200 women or something. He's had AIDS now for, what, like 30 years or something? But uh, you see young EJ here uh, growing up. You see uh, Magic getting a little bit more nervous looking and sweaty as the uh, as the years progress on here. And uh, they say that, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. This happens all the time. Like, you could be the most masculine gangster or something like that and have a, uh, you know, a gay son. Not uncommon at all. So, look how you have progressed there, young EJ. Good for, good for you. So, um, here's another trans that was on, uh, on Jeopardy the other day, so... But, you know, can this stuff go too far where you're like, you know, like the, the half woman, half man stuff or when you throw a teacher like a trans in a conservative school out in the suburbs, is that going too far? You know, and and, and one even dares to ask, is it possible that uh, these people are just doing this just for the sheer sake of being a weirdo? Here's Amy with her, his, the new wife there. So that, that's a little bit strange there. Does anybody else f find that to be a little bit strange that this person uh, has what looks like a, just a normal female wife, but yet if you feel like you're a woman inside, like like she does, um, and that's kind of, so I guess her inner woman's inside is also a lesbian? I don't get it. And then also, you know, what about the wife there? I mean, her she decides she wants to grow up and marry a man that dresses like a woman you know i mean is this person going to be in a bar like tw in san francisco like 25 years from now and being like jokes on you you know i was the guy that was on jeopardy that dressed up like a woman i mean probably not and you know i like i like characters in life i like Pee Wee herman okay i like i'd rather i like richard simmons you know from the 80s i like the characters are there. It's interesting. But at the same time, at the same time, we're in uncharted waters here. Can this liberalism go a little bit too far where it gets to be kind of grotesque? You know, like the the beard or whatever, the half man, half woman. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm not really onto that. Just like the backlash from the, the Bud Light commercial. So... Just like the famous insult comic uh, once said, I would like to end this little video that um, uh, Lisa Lampanelli, she said, in, in her shows, hey, you're not a fag unless your shoes match your bag.